What is going on guys? Welcome back to another War of the Visions video. Today we're going over the big announcement that we kind of saw coming. We didn't know when it was coming out, but now we do. Final Fantasy Tactics banner is coming to War of the Visions here, starring Ramza in Orlando, as well as a new Vision card, which is quite insane. So let's get into it for you here. Thank you guys for the support. Comment down below if you think you already already know you're pulling on this banner and what you're pulling for. And thank you once again to our generous Patreon and YouTube channel members who are the backbone of the channel and allow us to continue during this day and age. So Final Fantasy Tactics in-game announcement. It has been announced. They haven't given out too many details yet, but we're going to be going over a little bit of the characters and what you can expect from them as well as the vision cards. So in-game announcement uh, happened today, 420, and uh, they say that the collaboration period is starting the 22nd of April and it's running all the way until May 12th. So it's a very, very, very long campaign period, uh, which is you know about three weeks. I want to say uh, one, two, three, even a little bit longer than three weeks. Actually, it's quite it's quite a long time running all the way into the second week of May. So very long campaign period, time limited characters, time limited vision card, and then on top of that, not only is Ramza in Orlando a character that you can pull for with your in-game Visor in their card as well, but there is also a very strong free unit in Gafgarion who's going to be a dark elemental unit. So Gafgarion is going to be a very strong free character similar to Yashtola, but he's incredibly powerful and he's, I do believe, a dark physical slashing character, a uh, very strong unit that you can get your hands on. If you haven't already started working on a dark unit, this is going to be one of the units that you're going to want to be working on as your dark unit of choice. If you already have a dark unit that you're working on, Gefgarian is going to be someone that you might want to go ahead and get all of his time limited uh, things to his shards so you can awaken him up his uh, awakening crystal level later on but get his character shards so you can limit break him in that sort of fashion and function so briefly we'll be going over the details about the events and the banner and what you guys should be pulling on left right front and center when it does come out because we don't know how much each of the uh the step ups are going to be if there's going to be a step up that includes ramza or not how much it's going to be costing you to get the character shards if they're going to handle it like they did thancred where he was like a freak character but his shards cost double if you have to pull four later we don't know any of those details but we do know is these characters are very powerful and they are hyped up for a reason only just very strong thunder element unit so if you haven't worked on a thunder unit yet he's gonna be a very solid character he is a melee character right slashing damage and he's relatively slow he doesn't move very uh far in that way he's not like a super slow super duper tank agility wise or anything but he is kind of bulky and his main job is his own new main job it's like a holy sword knight however they decide to uh name that when it comes to global but then he also has the sub job of samurai which is very very cool if you are working on some sort of evasion team for that evasion samurai buff but he can't move very far but he's got a lot of long range abilities you know things not like kotetsu exactly but very similar right where gilgamesh has these slashing skills that have long range and can hit aoe and all this other sort of thing orlando is allowed to do that as well that's the small caveat to Orlando and he's a little bit bulkier he's not like a paper 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 DPS someone like a stern he's not like that he's not super crazy bulky like a tank but he's bulkier than your average DPS and he's got a lot of utility HP drains just a lot of really big damage stuff there for you there now Ramza is a supportive DPS character his main job is a unique job as well it's square it should be square when it comes out and he's got his traditional supportive aspects that he had in tactics right he has yell he has shout he has got the abilities to you know boost your attack in your party and he's got uh his own limit burst as well which looks super cool in the form of ultima can't miss so if you are in the know for pvp and know that you know evasion is going to be in a route that some people are going to be going on and down the route uh, later on once we have the ability to craft gear and actually fully develop teams for pvp or pve uh he's going to be an option for you as a supportive damage dealing character whose limit burst actually just 100 percent accuracy you can't dodge it and will just nuke people into oblivion so a very strong character in that route as well and he's going to be a light based character so you're going to have a lightning character and a light character and then uh you're going to have gafgarian as the dark character now the card vision card itself is the main draw for a lot of players too so not only are these characters very very strong but the vision card here is unique in the sense that it's the only card that kind of does exactly what it does so the ability you get for equipping the card to a unit it's slashing damage up which we've seen a lot right 
slashing damage up for whoever has the vision card on very strong there's a lot of party ability slashing damage up this one has the uh, slashing damage up as the passive for the equipped character. Now the party ability though, the reason why it's so strong, especially not only in PvE, but in PvP is agility up for your whole party. And you guys know how powerful agility is if you've been looking into different things. Making your characters just move faster in all aspects of the game are incredibly important to take extra turns, to do chains later on uh, boss monsters. You definitely want to try to get this card if you've been saving up for the banner. In general, you knew it was coming down the line. You've been saving up for a Lamb Dude and Ramza. And you get your hands on this card, maybe a limit break it a couple of times. You're going to be using this thing for forever because it's the only card that we know of in the game that actually has agility percent up for your party. And then not only in PvE, but in PvP, this is going to be something that is going to put you above literally anyone else for forever because of the agility percent up. If you have this card and they don't have this card, you're just it's going to be that much easier for you to move first, which is very, very important in a lot of different team compositions. Now, you're not out of the water if you don't have the card. You're just not going to be able to build like a team where it's like my DPS characters versus your DPS characters. And if you're making a team where you want to go first so you can get in position and you can one shot somebody, you're not going to be able to do that as well as someone else who has this card. But you're going to be able to play different aspects, especially in matched PvP where you can control your characters, where you can build like a tank your team and know that you're going to be going second against some higher ranked players who have this card. And they said that they're putting some MMR matchmaking uh, rating into match PvP. Uh, as soon as possible eventually i don't know they didn't really give a time frame they said they're working on that as one of the things that we talked about in the big updates that are coming down the road so that's something to keep in mind as well but this card is absolutely insane and if you can get it all the way fully unlocked which is huge either have to be really 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 lucky or have saved a bunch and still be lucky to fully maximize this card it gives plus 15 percent agility fully awakened and all the way leveled up which is a huge endeavor but even if you don't have it all the way all the way leveled up, it's still going to be a substantial amount of agility for your party, and you're going to be using it for forever. So you can put this on some damage dealer that does slashing damage, aka Orlando, right, or anyone else that does slashing damage. You get the slashing damage from the card, then your party's going to get the agility percent. Very, very, very strong card. Uh, later on down the road, even if you don't have the stuff for this right now, we should eventually see tactics getting rerun, actually, because JP, and I know there's not a lot of stuff moving on in the screen because the announcement thing so far today is uh, very, very small. It doesn't have any details. It even says in here, details will be announced at a later date. Details will be announced separately. So in two days, when the banner comes out, we're going to have another video for that. But JP actually is getting a rerun of Final Fantasy Tactics soon as we speak. It might even be the same day for JP, uh, whereas they're getting new characters too. They're going to have Delita. They're going to have um, Delita. I always forget his name. It starts with an M. Oh, Mustadio. Delita, Mustadio, and Agrius as well. And then the free character in there, I don't think is a free character. There's a new vision card that's free too. So one of those characters might end up being free. I don't think they said anything about them being free too, but you will and you should have a chance to get these characters again down the road so especially the will of the of the bail which is the card that you see here the very very strong card if you get your hands on it now get a couple copies even if you don't get it maxed out later on down the road tactics should return again because we know you know jp is getting it so down the road you can maybe pick up a couple more copies and just fully awaken your card down the road then it's a very 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 strong card and um if you're looking for permanent power in your team and something you're going to be using all the time not only are these characters incredibly powerful with orlando with ramza but the card is something you're always going to be using even if you're in battles where you don't want to actually specifically use a lightning character or a holy character or a dark character in the form of gafgarian or ramza or orlando you're still going to be using this card because the agility percent up is just that strong because it applies to every character in your party so if you have this card maxed out 15 percent there then maybe you have like a maxed out uh, Secret Orders or a maxed out Cactar card, which is a very underrated card that also was featured in a video on the channel. If you didn't catch that one, maybe you should go see it as well. You could get up to like 20 something, 30 something, you know, 25% agility on a character because of the party ability, 15% plus the card, another 10. You get 25% agility on a character, and you're going to be running like a Cactar around bosses, around enemy players, and it's going to be a good time for you out there in the PvP and PvP worlds. Uh, did I say PvP toys? PvE and PvP worlds. So, 
I wanted to tackle this. We're going to be pulling on this banner. Um, definitely been saving up a little bit of currency there, and I have some uh, good old Amazon coins ready for that endeavor as well. So if you want to check that out, we'll be doing it this weekend. Um, Twitch.tv slash house. Links in the description below. As always, guys, I want to get this information out there. These characters are super cool, and I'm really going to try to get lucky and get some copies of this card. I've been trying to... It's the thing that I want. There's a couple characters in the future that I want. Orlando's really strong. I'm not really pulling on this banner for Orlando. If we get him, awesome. I'm really trying to get this card. So hopefully we can get this card and it'll be a good time. We get a couple copies. We'll have to see how the shop's set up and, and stuff like this. See if it's using a metal system or whatever. And we'll take it from there. But hopefully you guys got this video. If you enjoyed it, leave that like. It helps out the channel a ton. I'm giving two thumbs up even though you can't see them right now because I'm recording at midnight. But uh, leave a like. Comment down below if you're pulling for tax or if, you, if you've if you already uh, drained all your resources or if you've been saving, because I know I've had some comments, I'm saving everything for my boy Ramza, my boy Orlando. Uh, so let me know that down below. And then once again, thank you guys for the support via Patreon, as, we, as well as, excuse me, YouTube channel members. That's a mouthful sometimes where you guys get various rewards for supporting the channel and being the awesome people that you guys are, including up to specific videos that you guys do want request, you know, trial battles, um, guides, characters, all that other stuff. So tailored to you. Thank you guys so much for that. I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe out there.